Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today I am just hanging out at home and I am trying to organize all of these different products in all honesty. I've been kind of holding off on getting all of this together because there's just like stuff everywhere. I need to get all the products out and then organize them but I've kept some of these boxes so I can actually put stuff from these different places together in one box. Hey you! Oh, I woke him up from his little nap because I started talking, huh, Uzi? Hey, mister. Hey, you want to hang out and help me clean? Yeah, and I've got products kind of everywhere. He's like, what are you doing? Hey. Such a little cutie pie. Just showing you my exchange with my cat guys. <laughs> we did stock up on extra cat food. That was actually more important to me than our food, honestly. Because we'll survive with no food. But you guys, you guys need a lot of food, don't you? So yeah, we've got some work to do here and I actually realized I forgot to give I had mascaras and I forgot to give those to Kelly because she uses that more than I do. And I had spring break content a couple of weeks ago and I never unpacked this suitcase. So just a lot of cleaning to do here. It just kind of sucks because every video that I make for TikTok, I have to clean up a lot of the stuff. Like I had all the bathing suits out here. I packed a suitcase for this and I had all the shoes, so it just kind of stinks that you make such a big mess every time you film something, but it is what it is. What you thinking about? What's up there, Uzi? Okay, you guys, things are starting to come together. I've got serums back here, oils in the front. We've got moisturizers of all shapes and sizes. And then I have a bunch of cleansers. So the cleansers are right here. And then I put a little section of tanning product right here because I want this to be pretty easily accessible. And I've got a tan mint here. So yeah, we got this organized. We've got the recycling trash, just general trash. I put all of my sunscreen goodies in here, so I have a full box of sunscreen items. So you can obviously see sunscreen is a huge part of my life, especially living in Arizona. And then I did a little treatment box. So this is eye gels, eye patches, face masks, um, sleeping masks, hand cream, um, you know, blemish control, all kinds of stuff like that, exfoliating treatment. And then I just kind of put this on top, so I'm going to have to figure out how to make that fit. And now I'm just trying to figure out where all these palettes and like just random makeup are going to go. But I've got the facial setting sprays in here too, toners and tonics. And the area is looking a lot better now. I just need to get rid of all of this stuff, which is probably going to take a while because it's a lot of little things that go all over the place. But 
As you can tell, I got rid of a lot of the boxes. I'm pretty proud of this. I gotta tell you something I could do. I could be running or I'm chasing you. But I won't. Cause I got better, better things to do. Rather spend my precious time chasing somebody who loves me too. I have currently made a gigantic mess over on the couch. I am filming a TikTok video right here. And we're doing the one where you basically change outfits and I'm showing all the quarantine outfits, essentially. So that's what I've been working on and that's why I have my camera because my phone is staying here on this tripod. And a little insider tip. You may not be able to see, but I have one piece of tape, second piece of tape. This way, my feet basically always go on the tape, so then when I jump, I'm kind of in the same place. So when I cut the clips, it basically looks a little bit more flawless and seamless. So, oh, this kept going, whoops. I didn't realize that was still going. I'm gonna run out of memory on this thing. Um, Let's just see if I can show you. Oh man, fixing. Oh, we don't need to see all this. Just fixing these pants so they don't look like they're sucking in my body. So yeah, you can kind of just see, just jumping, and then I'm gonna basically edit and clip out what it looks like in the end. But you can kind of see I stood in the same spot down there with pretty much every single outfit. So that is how you make it seem a little bit more flawless and seamless in terms of the transitions. Insight tip. So speaking of all of that, I've just started rocking all the Revolve goodies that they send over to me. I got to pick from a bunch of loungewear. So of course I had to get something that's tie-dye. These are my own shorts that I've had for a while. I got this really cute, kind of like Where's Waldo-ish sweater. And then I got this guy. This is super, super darling. I love that it's scalloped and this color is just really pretty. And then there's four buttons and it's kind of cropped. And then I also got this workout set. And then, yeah, so we got the sports bra, the leggings, that's pretty. And then obviously I didn't mention, but these pants are also from Revolve. So that's basically what I've been doing, just trying to get some outfit inspo that even though we can't go anywhere, you can still kind of do a little shopping and have some different outfits and just change clothes every once in a while because it may get a little depressing if you don't change your outfit and continue shopping, etc. So, oh, I also forgot I have these really cute sweatpants too. And the reason I really like these, so they look like basic sweatpants, but they actually have a drawstring down here at the bottom so you can adjust them. So they fit really nice and they could be fashion. Like if you decided to go with some fashion sneakers and then a cute um, bodysuit or a tight top, this would be a really cute look also. So I will tag all of these items in the description box below in case you guys wanna check them out. And yeah, I will be sure to also link the TikTok video once it goes live so you guys can check it out and see what all of this hard work has been that I've been doing for like an hour. I'm really hoping this video turns out good. Hey guys, it's another day. I have my aligners in and I'm just looking a little red. I have these clothes. This is from yesterday's TikTok video that I found, which is basically quarantine outfits. So I need to put all this away, but I also want to take a couple of outfit shots as well before I put everything away. I'll probably just hang it on that clothing rack. But anyway, I wanted to just quickly say hi and show you for those who wanted to know what my podcasting setup looks like. It is basically my chair, laptop, my microphone, my headphones in my very messy with the light is really bright back there, but this is like my really messy situation. So this is probably why you now know that I, it wouldn't really make sense to have this as a YouTube channel for the podcast because it's just me in my really messy room sitting. Although this chair could always fit another guest. It's actually like the perfect chair to actually have guests. But yeah, my setup is just one microphone and my headset and then everyone calling in just calls in via Zoom and we tell them 
to be in a quiet place and make sure, you know, they have good working headphones. You can use AirPods or um, just regular Apple headphones. So yeah, that's pretty much the setup. So this is why I'm not doing videos of every single guest that I have because it just isn't that cute. This is the reality of the behind the scenes. And truthfully, this is probably the cleanest my room has been in a while. You can kind of see the dressing room situation over there and I've organized my products into like those little baskets. Still a ways to go because I need more than just this little organizer. And I think what I'm gonna have Aaron do is possibly build some kind of shelves or kind of an outline because I want to do, I have a very interesting idea that I haven't really shared with anybody yet, but I really want to do kind of like what you see at certain stores, beauty stores, where you have kind of like this gold outline and then I have like little shelves on the gold outline framing and then you place all the skincare products on the different levels so it kind of looks like a Sephora Ulta like really beautiful display but not on like shelves more of like this gold outline framing I have this in my mind and I'm really not describing it well but that could be a really fun project that we could do while we're quarantining I mean sounds like a pretty good idea to me and I really just want to be able to see all my products a little bit better because while this is nice and I do have it separated like I told you guys the top is serums and more treatment based things um, then I have moisturizers and I can't remember what else I think those were mostly moisturizers and then the bottom is like a little bit of tanning and then cleansers and stuff like that and then in those two boxes over there in the green one is a Mario Badescu box and I actually have all treatments. So it's like their drying lotion and then I have masks and Dr. Dennis Gross peel pads. And then in the white one is just a box of sunscreen because I love sunscreen. So I do have a method to the madness, but it's just not pretty and it's not cute. And it just doesn't make me use these items a lot. Like I know what I have up here, but I always go for kind of the same products. Let me show you, I just have my blog up. Um, I'm trying to think. I may have actually put everything back. I think I did that. But I kind of like gravitate towards the same products. And these are the newest of the new that I have right now. This came from one PR agency. But I did my nails with this Sally Hansen nail polish. It's called Pink Sapphire. So you can see I did my nails yesterday. And then I always love to use this base coat and top coat from Revlon. They've just worked really well for me. But... I did a little tutorial using some Burt's Bees and then Florence by Mills. This is um, Bobby Millie Brown, Millie Bobby Brown's brand. And then Biore, um, just Molten Brown, like all kinds of products. And this is kind of like the new stuff that I'm still working with, but I kind of digressed. What I was saying is that the stuff that I know is up there is what I typically tend to use. So it's just been interesting to explore a little bit further outside of my comfort zone but also I still love the same type of skincare and I just think if I have a nice organizational thing here that would be good and then I think for here we were going to we were shopping for vanity mirrors before everything happened because I really want to see the mirror in person and measure it and just kind of understand where it's going to go because I do want a huge mirror right here to do my makeup so I can actually make this kind of like more than just a desk it would actually be like a true vanity but I don't know if I'll be able to find a mirror that I like without making that decision or making the decision without seeing it in person so for the time being I don't think I'm gonna pull the trigger on a mirror but I think what I'm gonna do is use the Tezza collage kit and just put the collage kit pretty much everywhere in the space and then once we have a mirror the mirror will only cover up a part of a collage but I think this whole wall will end up being the collage kit because I got her new pink more dreamy cloud inspired set and I think I'm gonna put it on this wall so I may want to start working on that because I'm tired of just looking at white on both sides so but yeah you guys already know I used one of the older kits there and then let's see, it's interesting doing this because I don't want to really move. Where is the other one? You can kind of see, where is it? 
you can't really see because of the light, but I have a little bit more of her collage kit just in that corner. So nothing crazy, but I think I am going to do that on this wall. I've got time, right? I've got time. <laughs> I'd say it was a pretty productive week. Jenny will be proud of me. I've got a bunch of episodes loaded into the Google Drive. It is time for some wine. <laughs>